Hello. Welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about how to fix buttock pain for good. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. You use the pelvis for most of your daily activities such as walking to sitting to doing housework. This means that if you are suffering from chronic pelvic joint pain, you are probably doing something that even upsets you because it is likely to aggravate this painful area. So, what can you do to ease its pain? In today's video, we are going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks to ease the buttock pain. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Two main causes of chronic pelvic pain. H. The older you get, the less cartilage you have in your hip to protect it from damage. Also, the aging process stimulates the risk of certain conditions that increase the hip joint, such as osteoarthritis. Frequent use of a joint or muscle. If you are doing a job or hobby that requires frequent use of your pelvis, you are more likely to have inflammatory problems such as bursitis which affects small fluid-filled bursa in your pelvis, inflammation stimulation of tendons around the pelvis, and muscle strain increase. There are things you can do to reduce the pain and thus control the pain, when considering the following options. One thing to keep in mind is that some of them work best for chronic pelvic pain caused by improper repeated actions, while others work for age-related discomfort in the hip. Therefore, you want to keep in mind which treatment plan is best for you and tailored to your specific needs. If you try one of the suggested medications and find no relief, do not give up. Simply try something else and see if your body responds better to it or not. No treatment is suitable for everyone, so trial and error may be done to find what your body likes best. Number 6. Over-the-counter painkillers. This is one of the easiest options you can use to get rid of that constant pain and discomfort. You can go to pharmacies and buy something right on the store shelf that works to control pain. Some people prefer aspirin and others always choose ibuprofen. Each can be just as effective, it just depends on your personal preference. Sometimes over-the-counter medications are not strong enough or do not have the right ingredients to relieve pelvic pain and make the body feel better. Number 5. Ice or Heat Pack. When your pelvis is sore, using ice or heat on the affected area may help reduce inflammation and reduce pain. How do you know which one to use? If the area that hurts is inflamed due to a recent injury, such as a sprain, or swollen, you can use ice. However, if, for example, you want to reduce chronic pain without serious injury due to slipping and falling, moist heat is best because it calms the area and encourages more blood flow. Whichever program is right for you, limit it to 20-minute sessions. Also, be careful not to apply the compress too hot or cold on your skin as you may be exposed to frostbite or burns, which can cause more pain in a sensitive area. Number 4. Physiotherapy. While most low-intensity exercise is beneficial, specific, direct movements performed by a physiotherapist can be even better. A person with medical education knows what steps to take to help you relieve pain while increasing your mobility and flexibility at the same time. Number 3. Stretches. If you can improve your range of motion in the pelvic area and a great way to do this is to do some easy relaxing stretches, it may help. Just make sure you do slow, conscious movements on both sides of your body, even if the pain is only on one side, to get the most benefit. Also, avoid fast movements so as not to make the problem of pain worse than it is now. Don't you know which stretches are proper for you? There are lots of videos on our channel, which you can check out. Number 2. Low Intensity Exercise. 
A little light physical activity will help keep your joints somewhat active and make it easier to maintain daily activities. First, it increases your range of motion. The pelvic area keeps you flexible and allows you to move more easily. Second, it also increases muscle strength, which ultimately helps support the surrounding bones and joints. Therefore, the greater the level of muscle fitness in this particular area, the less pain you will feel. Some of the exercises you may want to consider are walking, cycling, and swimming. Some people can even benefit from cross-country skiing even if they live in an area where this is an option. Each of them has a weak effect and does not cause much tension in your buttocks. The key point is to be consistent and exercise often on a daily basis. Number 1. Pelvic Joint Replacement Surgery If you try all the other options and nothing works, a hip replacement may be the only option to stop the chronic pain you feel daily. If the pelvic joint deforms, has bone tumors or fractures, it may be replaced, and the only correct way to correct it is to replace it completely. Thanks to medical advances, hip replacement surgery is not as difficult as it used to be. Most people spend 3-5 to five days in the hospital after this type of operation, and after 3-6 months, they have a completely normal function. All of these are good treatment options depending on the severity of your pain and whether it can be reduced with non-invasive methods. However, no matter which method you choose, you must understand that medical intervention is absolutely necessary. When to seek immediate medical treatment, if you are being treated for any type of treatment, either on your own or with a doctor's prescription, there may come a time when you need to see a doctor right away. Although most of us like to be our own doctors in an effort to save time and save money, you cannot, and should not, always take care of your medical needs by yourself. If you experience any of the following, you should seek medical treatment as soon as possible pain that occurs quickly or is very severe, you fall or injure your thighs which causes pain, especially if you hear a certain sound when you fall, your thighs do not look right as it may be inadequate or bleeding, your pelvis cannot support the weight of your body while walking, you may notice redness, swelling or heat in the thigh area as this may be a sign of infection. If you see any of these signs you should see a doctor as soon as possible. Any pain doesn't occur without reason, so, if you have constant pain in any part of your body, you should go to check your body. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.